Hi, my name is Alexandra, and today I'm going to be talking with a young man who is a survivor of grooming. He is going to be sharing his experience um, when he was younger being taken advantage of by an older woman, which is a situation that isn't as talked about as older men taking advantage of younger women. So I think it'll be a good opportunity to raise that voice. Um, we're going to be digging into the difference in how sexual trauma is perceived um, when it comes to men versus women in society. I think it is an important conversation. I hope that you will stay tuned to learn something new and you can also subscribe for more videos. All right, thanks so much. Hey, so it's crazy because I was at work and I was talking to one of my coworkers and I was telling him how, yeah, I was like 16, 17. I hooked up with a woman who was like in her 30s and he was like, yeah, she pretty much groomed you. And he was telling me about a similar situation he had where he was like 14 or 15 and he was hooking up with this girl who was in college and she was like 22, 23. And then my manager was like, yeah, I've had something like that happen to me. I was like 14, 15 and I was hooking up with a woman who was like 25 or 26 and I was like, all these times, like, people being groomed and not seeing as bad because the guy liked it. I was like, isn't that still wrong in its own right? Like, I was like, why is that so acceptable? Isn't that wrong? I mean, and none of us, like, actually realized that it was that wrong until later on. But these were grown women, like, preying on the innocence of children. But I don't know. You know, I've noticed at least that grooming has become a concept people are becoming more and more familiar with that they didn't really even realize was a thing. And mm -hmm. the more people open up about it, others, I hear like so many other stories about it, but I don't hear a lot from the male perspective. So I appreciate you sharing that. And, um, you know, whenever you feel comfortable, if you want to kind of open up about your experience, um, you know, I'd love to hear about that. Um, it's kind of bad to say which one, but um yeah well the one i'd like in that video specifically the one i talked about it was like some lady in a community who um like i volunteered there i tutored the kids there and she worked in like the office in the community and so i would see her constantly and we had like a little like friendship type of thing and sometimes like i lived kind of far away from that community because like it was right in my school but i lived like three or four miles away so i'd usually ride my bike home so sometimes she'd give me like when i was done volunteering and stuff she'd give me a ride home stuff like that um, and it was just like one one day she had randomly like invited me to her house because she lived at that community and she was like oh yeah I'll uh, make you some food blah 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 and I'll take you home cool nothing happened that time so like a few times she had invited me over and then one time she had like said something to me like kind of sexual and I kind of looked at her and I was like that's a grown woman she ain't even she ain't even looking at me like that or anything like that and so I just like brushed it off like we were hanging out and stuff and then like I think it was the next time I came over after that she was like oh do you want to come to my house real quick I just need to shower real quick and then I'll be able to take you home I was like yeah that's perfectly fine whatever whatever I'm sitting in the living room and she just like walks out of the shower and she was like when she was pretty much like when are you gonna get the hint I was like what hint and she was like and like was taking her towel off and stuff and was really trying to and I was just like oh cool this is hella cool this is a grown woman I can and like I can have sex with her I can do these things different I was like I'm thinking it's like a really good achievement and really good accomplishment and then I didn't notice until years later that it was like something that was really wrong like damn I was like I was 16 and she was in her early 30s I was like that should not have been okay and that was weird and so like it went on for like five or six months and I had like text messages and I had videos pictures everything of it all and yeah, I mean, she ended up getting arrested and it was like, oh. of course she lost her job. She was on like a sex offender list the whole nine. But I was like, I wish I would have known that when I initially was going into it. I wish I was like taught more because they tell you, hey, you're a child or like adults don't look at children like that, whatever. You're taught that people usually don't do that type of thing. Or even as a guy, when you see older women, it's like, oh, if you get this older woman, it's like a prize or it's like a something to be congratulated by. And I'm like, she used you, you were a child and she was a grown woman, but a lot of guys aren't even ready to accept that. So that's another story, but that was just like the most recent one that I actually had like justice for, I should say. The yeah. other one was like some lady who, yeah, that was a lot. <laughs> 
So how do you think, how do you, after processing that and realizing what it was, does it change the way that you view relationships? Um, to an extent, yes. I try to stay like within my age range. So I'm like, it's weird because I'll never date anybody. My younger sister's like 18. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, when a girl is like 18 and she's like, oh my God, you're so cute. I'm like, no. And then my other younger sister's just about to be 21. So I'm like, if a girl's like 21, I'm like, no, you're my younger sister's age. So I'm like, I can't date anyone younger than my younger sister. Mm -hmm. And then I'm not going more than like maybe five years older than me when I date. And my girlfriend right now is, um, she's 26. She's about to be 26. So she's three years older than me. And I'm like, cool. We in the same like age category. Like we could have went to school together, something like that. I'm not, I was like large age gaps. I'm kind of like, mm, that's not for me no more. Yeah. Do you think that, you know, I think a lot of people notice older guys creeping on younger girls and they think mm -hmm. it's easy to identify and it's talked about a lot. And, you know, you're always taught, uh, the old guys are always creeping on you. They're always hitting mm -hmm. on you, but you really don't hear about it from the other side. Do you think that there's sort of like an untold truth of men dealing with this sort of thing? Oh, absolutely. So one of my coworkers, um, we both bought this like same shirt and it's literally says I heart hot moms. Right. And we went out to the bar and wore them as a joke. And the amount of like grown women who didn't even, I don't even think we went to a bar. No, he was hosting an event. So it was an 18 and up club. So we could have only been 18 and still been in there. Right. Mm -hmm. And there's like grown women in there, like late thirties, like for anywhere from like 30 to about 45 in there. Like, Oh, you do like, Oh, blah, blah, blah. Like trying to flirt with us, trying to get our numbers, trying to take us home, stuff like that. And I'm like, when I was fresh 18, I did not have any real like life skills or any real senses to be like, huh, I know better than to go talk to this grown woman. I would have thought like, oh yeah, I'm really doing something. But now I'm like, you're, you're kind of a predator and you, you're just trying to use a young man for your own pleasure. Yeah, definitely. But it's not seen that way as much in society now. Yeah, I agree. I think a lot of the trauma too, um, isn't, do you feel that with men you know it's more repressed and it's harder to admit trauma or process trauma because I feel like there's probably a lot of men out there that have been traumatized in similar ways as you that will probably never even admit that it was wrong oh yeah well I made a video about that um on my like main TikTok page I guess some uh some woman was like what's something that a lot of young men aren't ready to hear and I was like the older woman you talked to wasn't I was like, you were like taken advantage of. And a lot of guys were in the comment, like, well, no, I wanted it. I wanted this, I wanted that. I was like, bro, you weren't even old. And I was like, you weren't even old enough to know. Like, bro, you, you were peeing the bed four years ago. And now you're talking to a woman who's twice your, like legitimately twice your age. I was like, that was wrong. And you were taken advantage of. And I'm like, well, no, I felt like this and that. And I'm like, that's not a good thing. Mm -hmm. But they just see it as more, it seemed more of like an accomplishment for men to get women as like we're raised up. And then if, for women, it's like sexual, your sex is like a prize. And for men, it's like, you have to get that prize. So no matter how you get it, no matter how much older she is, whatever it is, that's the, uh, that's the prize you want to get. And when you have it, it's like, okay, cool. This is an accomplishment or this is a milestone. This is the next stepping stone. And it's not seen as so much bad as it would be for like a younger woman. Like if you saw a younger woman in that situation, so many men or so many other people are going to step in and be like, no, that's wrong. Stop. But if you see a younger man, you'll still see like older men, like, yeah, you go ahead, young and get them like, and that needs to be changed. <laughs> right. So do you think there's like a link to the toxic masculinity in our culture? Oh, definitely. That's, that's exactly where it starts from is because vagina is seen as like such a prize among so many men and you have to be the manliest man, sleep with the most women, all this stuff. And so when you do, it's like, okay, cool. I got this leg up in the race now. And I'm like, if I could go back and not sleep with like a majority of the women I did, I wouldn't. Cause now I see it as like, damn, I was just in a hurt place. And I was trying to use momentary pleasure to keep me like, to try to satisfy my needs. Right. And what are kind of some ways that you've been able to cope with um, those situations and been able to kind of alter your perspective? Um, I've actually, so, 
I just talk to people who have like went through similar situations with it. Cause like other guys, they're obviously always going to be those dense people who are like, no, it's not wrong. And then like one of my coworkers, he went through this, a similar situation. He said he was like 13 or 14 and the girl he was talking to was like 25 and he thought it was cool. He was like, I'm talking to this college girl, blah, blah, blah. But I'm like, yeah, that, he was like, damn, when I got, when I became an adult, I realized that that was, <clears throat> that that was wrong. He was like, I would never look at like a 13 or 14 year old and be like, oh my God, you're sexy. I want to do anything with you. And I was like, yeah. So like, it's helped like talking to other people who've gone through similar situations and really breaking down like what happened, how it's now affecting you or how it affects you back then and how it's affecting your current relationships. Yeah, absolutely. And do you think kind of when those, do you ever have situations or know of people that have tried to come forward with their stories and it hasn't really been taken seriously? Yeah. Uh, the first time anything ever happened to me, actually, um, I was 12 and the woman was, she was like 21. Mm -hmm. And I was telling people like, this is wrong. Like, this doesn't feel right. Right. Like this relationship or whatever, people are like, oh, you must be gay. You must, da da da. Mm -hmm. You got a woman giving you, giving herself to you and this and that. You must be gay. You must not. Instead of you're a child, this is an adult. That relationship shouldn't even be happening. Right. Absolutely. And so what prompted you to open up and be able to have the confidence to share your experience like online? Um, honestly, I think I was just talking to somebody one day and then I, I happened to come across that video of the girl asking the question and I was like, somebody got to say it. And then I was like, cool. And then like, I thought of the idea in another video and I was like, cool, I could put this into another video and hopefully this will actually get traction and people who need to see this will actually see it. And it kind of blew up. So I was like, cool. A lot enough people can see this to actually know that this is wrong. Right. So what do you hope when people see your content? You know, what, what impact are you hoping to have on people? One communication with partners and everything. Cause I talk about a lot of adult stuff, which is why my account is always blocked or banned. I talk about so much adult stuff and I'm like communication with your partner consenting to like literally everything making sure all lines are specified and in black and white like yeah. make sure everything's good and make sure you're comfortable with everything that happens and as soon as you're not comfortable let them know or let someone else know that hey this situation isn't comfortable for me and I don't know how to get out of it yeah right well thank you so much I really you know appreciate hearing your perspective I'm so glad that you're talking about this I don't think enough guys talk about it I hear it from girls all the time and of course it doesn't make me feel like you know I feel feel for both people um but it's always hits a different way when I hear it from a man's perspective just because I just never really considered how frequently it happens you know you like you said you would think that you're for whatever reason in our society I feel abuse is typically associated with men abusing women mm -hmm. and you just don't see a lot of the other side probably like you're saying because a lot of men aren't as forthcoming or accepting of the fact that they were taken advantage of I think it's, it's harder just by nature to admit weakness so mm -hmm. I appreciate you um of course being able to come out and talk about that. And I really wish you the best. I hope that you'll keep talking about it because I think you're helping a lot of people by doing that. Well, thank you for having me. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much. All right, stay in touch. All right, bye. All right, bye.